hello friends welcome to umair bhat channel today i am going to start a new series of uh, drupal drupal is a open source cms content management system and uh, this will be the first video of this series and in this video i will teach you i will show you that how you can install the drupal cms uh, in your computer through localhost exam exam is a localhost server so i will show you that how you can install the drupal in your computer through exam and i will also include the link of that video in which i explain how to install exam in your computer so before starting the drupal you should learn how to install the exam so you can follow that video through the description and uh, then you can proceed here so in this video i will teach you how to install the drupal in your computer through exam so let's start now we are on our computer screen and um, here now we will open drupal.org this is the official website of drupal cms from where we can download the drupal so the first step we will download it so you just click on try drupal download and then download drupal zip from here and uh, you can see the downloading will start here okay so as soon as this complete we will extract this file in the folder in the downloads folder so it has been downloaded right click show in folder and now we will extract this zip file in the same downloads folder so it has been it's actually extracting you can see here so once it complete then we will move the folder inside this folder to the exam ht docs i will show you once it completes the extract process so it has been successfully extracted so this folder we will open this folder inside this we have another folder you can see in this folder we have different files and folders so this folder actually we will copy from here and then we will go where we install the exam inside the exam folder we have ht docs now we will paste that drupal folder in the ht docs folder of exam still the folder is in the moving process in the ht docs folder so once it moves completely then we will resume from here so you can see the folder has been moved to the ht docs folder successfully now we will rename this folder and uh, i will type like learn drupal and uh, now exam control panel you will open and uh, apache and mysql you will start both these things make sure both are green and then we will open uh, google chrome and now we will type localhost slash folder name learn drupal so now actually we have moved we have downloaded the drupal and we have extracted the zip file and then we have moved the drupal to the uh, ht docs folder so now you can see once you type localhost slash learn drupal so now the configuration process has been started there are few steps we will have to complete so choose language we can select english or any other you can select save and continue <coughs> Now select an installation profile we have three methods I will select standard then click save and continue. Now there is something warnings found PHP OP code caching and uh, you can ignore this all other things are okay. 
so you can click on continue anywhere now database name database username and password required so we will open in another tab localhost slash php my admin and we will create a new database so we will click on databases and database name i will type here learn drupal same name so database name also i will type here learn drupal database username in exam is always root and password is blank field and uh, advanced options we have some advanced options but we will not change them and click on save and continue make sure you will click on one time on the save and continue then it will go to the install site step now it's installing drupal you can see it's installing some modules so uh, we will wait and once it completes then we will actually this is installing some modules that are the required modules of the drupal in this step install site so it's now 31 percent complete so it will take few minutes as soon as it completes we will resume the video from here So it's now 98% almost completed and you can see 41 of 42 steps has been completed now it's installed like shortcut module so now it's 100% and has been completed 42 of 42 steps now it will go to the next step of uh, configure site So now we are on the configure site process. So site name, I will type my name. If you are going to create your portfolio website, definitely you will type your name or if you have a business, so you can type your business name. Site email address, like I will type this. Username, you can uh, type admin or your name that username you will use to log in the dashboard to access to open the dashboard of drupal i will type admin and the password uh, recommendations you can include uppercase letters numbers and punctuation email address is coming original settings uh, i will use my country default country default time zone karachi and check for updates automatically it's already checked and uh, receive email notifications if you don't want to receive the email notifications you can uncheck this okay but uh, i will uh, you know check both options it's already so i will continue So as you saw that there were few steps like the choose language, choose profile, verify requirement, set up database, install site and configure site. So uh, we have completed all these steps and we are on the last step configure site. So in this step uh, Drupal will install completely and then we can see the dashboard and uh, the website. So here it's taking few seconds. It has been completed. You can see congratulations. You installed Drupal. You can see the site name is coming here by IT solutions. So this is the um, you can see the uh, local host slash learn Drupal the website name. OK, so we have successfully installed the Drupal so in this video we have completed this process where i have explained where i have teach uh, where i have taught you how to install the drupal in your computer uh, using exam local server so now uh, when i will make another video of in of this playlist of this series then i will show you about the login process 
and uh, about the interface of this uh, Drupal. So I hope you have learned a lot in this video about Drupal. Please subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends so they can also learn new things and they can increase their professional skills. Thank you very much once again.